Hello guys, how are you? On this episode, we will make a simple smart contract, but a very interesting one. We will make a blacklist, a list of people and companies that are not approved by the society. Maybe they have stolen money, misused information, abused someone, etc. So let's begin. I'm here on Ethereum Remix. We will start with our classic Pragma Solidity. Then we will start our contract. Oops, over here contract and it will called blacklist this contract will have a struct of person this actually could be person and company but we will just make it a person to make it more simple this will have an address the address of the person that has had been added to the blacklist and an int with the count the amount of times that people have voted that this person is not liked by the society then we will have a simple dictionary of, or mapping here in solidity that we will map address to persons. This will be public because anyone will be able to ask for this and this will be called blacklist. Then our e constructor will be pretty simple. It actually will be empty. Blacklist, non payable, no nothing. Just an empty one. <clears throat> and our interesting function will be the function to add people. Add to blacklist and this it's actually very simple. It's not payable, it just has an address. And this address will be the address of the person that you want to add to this blacklist. So we will modify our mapping blacklist at the position of the address, underscore address, and we will make the ADR to be equal to underscore address. And then our blacklist, same position, blacklist underscore address dot count will be increased by the one. And there we are. I made something wrong. Black, ah, okay, blacklist. Okay, there we go. So now we will go to Ethereum wallet. <clears throat> and on Ethereum wallet, we will deploy the contract. This contract will be deployed by my miner. I will show you that I have a lot of accounts here just for testing. I'm on a private solo network network solo and I will deploy that's faster than working on the testnet and also cheaper <laughs> than actually free than working on the mainnet so I have a, the miner a bad company a bad person a company person one two three four five so let's say that we go to the blacklist and we will add someone to the blacklist but first we need to have that person address this actually the bad company We'll copy the address of the bad company and this company has made something bad and person one will say that this is not a company to trust. So it will sign it and of course the person as well to number two will also vote for this person and person three and four. There we go. Now we need to wait for the blocks to be mined and we are ready. We go here and we can ask any address. We will ask this one. Oh, but company has four votes. So let's say that they also want to vote for the bad person. So they go to the blacklist, they add someone to the blacklist and this will be added by the company. Let's say that they, this is an airline and the guy was making bad stuff at the airplane. So they add it to the blacklist but since he has only makes one thing wrong, he only has one vote. So he's not that bad person. But let's say that this guy again, uh, abuse of a minor. So person five as well, vote for him and he will start increasing their votes. So there you can see that we can have a blacklist, maybe we could even make a ranking in the future, but with this simple smart contract, now you, we can see the count of two, we can see that we can use the blacklist. And if we ask for an address that has not been bought, and we ask here, it will be zero because it's not there. Hope you like it, leave your comments, bye.